In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring the popular Java Edition shader effect of holding a torch and having it illuminate your surroundings to Bedrock Edition. Using a combination of fill and execute commands, I've created a build that allows you to hold the torch in your offhand and as you move, it will set light blocks at your head and remove any existing light blocks in your surrounding area. You'll feel like you're carrying a portable sun as you explore your world. Let's get started. So we're going to be starting off with the repeating command block. This is going to be always active and there's going to be no delay. That's going to be slash test for at a has item, item equals torch, location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand. Now if you want to do this with a lantern instead, you can change torch to lantern or soul lantern or whatever it is you want. But make sure that this item is the light source item that you want to have in your offhand. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, brown coat, you can't put a torch in your offhand. Oh yes you can. We'll get to that later. And then change to that repeating command block. Chain conditional, always active, no delay. We're gonna do slash execute at, at a, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand. Run fill, tilde tilde one tilde, tilde tilde one tilde, light block, 15, replace air. So, no matter where you're at, this is going to replace the block where your head is with a light block set to level 15. It's a block that you can move through, so you're not going to suffocate or have any impediments to your movement, but it's going to create a light source at your position. Now, it's only going to do that if there's air there. So if you're in tall grass or water, your torch is not going to shine outside of that. Now, I have six command blocks. Don't worry. It's not that bad. They're basically all the exact same command with just some minor changes. So we're going to go into the first one here. Repeating. Always active, just like all the rest of them. It's going to be slash execute at, at A, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand, run fill. Now everything up to this point is going to be exactly the same in all six of these command blocks. The only difference is going to be the coordinates that we're using. This one is going to be tilde negative 2, tilde negative 1, tilde 1, tilde 2, tilde 1, tilde 2. Air 0, replace, light block. Going to the next command block here, it's going to be, again repeating, always active, slash execute at, at A, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot, dot weapon, dot offhand, fill, and run fill and now we're going to have the changes here with the coordinates this one is tilde 2 tilde negative 1 tilde negative 2 tilde 1 tilde 1 tilde 2 air 0 replace light block going to the third command block over here and this one is going to be slash execute at at a has item item equals torch location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand run fill for this one it's tilde negative 2 tilde negative 1 tilde negative 1 tilde 2, tilde 1, tilde negative 2. Air 0, replace, light block. So you might have guessed at this point, but each one of these is erasing light blocks on one side of you. So I'm going to go over here, and again repeating, always active, slash execute at, at A, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot, dot weapon, that offhand, run fill, tilde negative 2, tilde negative 2, tilde negative 1, tilde negative 1, tilde 1, tilde 2. Air zero, replace light block. The four command blocks that I've gone over replace the light block on all sides of you. But if you're going up and down at all, we gotta also do the top and the bottom of you. That's what these are. This one here is gonna be the bottom. It's gonna be slash execute at, at A, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand, run fill. Tilde negative two, tilde negative one, tilde negative two, tilde two, tilde negative two, tilde two. Air zero, replace, light block. This one here is above you. Slash execute at, at A, has item, item equals torch, location equals slot dot weapon dot offhand. Run fill, tilde negative two, tilde two, tilde negative two, tilde two, tilde three, tilde two. Air zero, replace, light block. All right, so there are two things that we're gonna wanna do real quick. The first, we're gonna make a ticking area using the following command, ticking area, add, circle, then you're gonna do tilde, space, tilde, space, tilde, two, and then you're gonna type in commands. 
Mine's gonna pop up and say I, it already exists, but yours will pop up and say you created a ticking area. This is gonna make it so that no matter where you're at in the world, this command block area stays loaded and your commands will always run. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do slash replace item entity at s slots dot weapon dot offhand zero torch one. And now you have a torch in your offhand. That's right, I know it's not possible through the menu, but with commands, there are many things you can do. Speaking of these many things you can do, did you know that you can add realistic blood effects to Minecraft using command blocks? Check out this video here, and you will learn how. This is Browncode67, I'll catch you next time.